hey guys so in this video we'll be learning how to crochet this outfit but we'll be using a sun rice or sunshine yellow yarn we'll start from the bra from the single bra it is actually separate from the whole outfit so let's get into our work like i said we'll be using a yellow yarn and 3.5 pin to start with it's very easy and okay we we'll make our chains to make our normal bra which is 17 chains normally if you're making a bra a normal bra 17 chains remember that one bra is long one side of the bra is longer than the other so for the normal one we are doing 17 chains add three chains to make your first dc or double crochet and walk your way down to the chain it's easy it's simple there's no other way to explain a bralet just do your 17 chains add extra three that's 21 chains then walk your way down to the last of the knob period So after walking your way down to the end of the um, the chain, all you have to do is put two double crochet. You see, I added one more there. Two double crochet, chain one. Then you put two double crochet again in the same knob for you to get a coffee, the coffee side of the bra. Two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet. You see, then you start working on this other side now same as you were doing on the other side like each row it's like a row everyone has a partner on the other side that is it simple and easy after getting to the down the next thing is to turn you do your three chains and turn simple if you're still watching this till now, that means you're interested in what I am doing. So please like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel and click on the bell icon because it's going to notify you whenever I post another video. Thank you very much. Okay, um, back to this design. Um, once you get to the middle of your crochet designing, if you're following my instruction, put two double crochet into the, the same knob and one chain and two double crochet into that same place. That's where you build your bra very well and it's going to have a very nice coffee shape just like this. Just keep working and repeating the process till you get your perfect size. So I have gotten my desired size and I'm going to cut this and um, hide my yarn. One thing you should know as a crocheter is that the yarn can, the, if you don't hide your yarn after cutting, it might spoil your work. In the long run because it might lose so remember to always hide your yarn before cutting it again it gives your work a very neat look and safe so people can wear for long without it spoiling um, so we are done with the with the um, this thing, with the with the bra I'm sorry now it's just um you just put your chain anyhow you know how to do your chains you do your chains but this i saw a new technique of making chains with just two yarns if you're using yay -ye yarn or you're in africa you have yay -ye yarn that's not foreign thick yarn you would use um three strands of yarn but i'm just using two or if you're using this my design 
So this is my kind of um yarn um what's it called rope design. You need like four four strands of rope, but if you're doing normal rope design, you need three strands of rope so that it can be thicker. So that is that for that. Let's move to the next. I'm trying to make this video as fast as possible because I know nobody have the whole time in the world. So we are done with that short bra. We are going to start doing this this other side of the outfit, which is a longer bra. So we are going to use 30 or I counted this one to make sure it is actually complete. So I did 30 chains instead of 17 chains there and then i did it the same way i did the other bra but just longer yeah this is me after doing my 30 chains and going back to the um the third one and doing my double crochet down the chains and turning blah 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 let's move to the next I have done two rows already and um, if you are a crocheter or you need to you know that crochet is a very long boring enduring kind of work I take it as a work as a hobby and everything yeah um, so you see the length the length is actually different this one is 30 the other one is 17 chains I did to start so like i said crochet is very long it takes a whole lot of time and it's boring but it is sweet it is fun at the same time you know the idea of wanting to make a design and waiting for it uh what was i explaining here yeah, i was trying to tell you all that this other one is shorter than the other than this other one that's just it so this is supposed to be a tutorial and um i think it's not a basic tutorial it's not learning patterns or learning chains and learning um stitches this is for someone that actually knows how to crochet and you just want to understand how they got the, the pattern okay ah i was trying to explain there that i am done with um with this bra so i'm going to be working on the chain around the waist so i, I i'm using 28 if you see the chain like that would go around my waist is 28 i usually use my my size because it fits small large and medium so i did 28 like i used um tape to measure it so that is it that's the waist section of this outfit that's the waist section so you just work on after doing your chain and connecting it to your long side of the bra, that's the bra side that is very long, you you work on the bra side. Like you do single crochet. I don't know what I was doing there. I think I'll lose. Okay, that is it. I lost. Yes. So, wait another take. Lose. Okay. Good. Okay. So, after doing your chain round your um like doing your chain around your waist or the preferred size that you need you do single crochet you see there it is single crochet i'm doing not double crochet you can decide to do double crochet it will show but i like single crochet because it will make the work very smooth so you do your single crochet around the bra after doing your single crochet the next thing is you start your double crochet on the chain that you've knitted to make yourself a waist so the chain is the waist so you start your double crochet on the waist to create the waist simple and then you walk down the waist until you get the size that you desire for your short or your skirt or your trouser until you get the size that you desire and then you divide it into two it is easy 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 easy
so like i said you just go around the chain and then until you get the particular size this is how far i've gone and let's continue working this will take days One important thing you should notice or you should do when you're crocheting skirt, trouser, gown is that you have to work differently on the hip section. Like here, yeah, I'm adding. You add at interval so that the hip can be bigger than the waist because the waist is 28 and my hip is um, almost 40. So don't forget to add an, at interval. Maybe after doing 20, you add you put two crochet in one and continue so we've gotten our size i've gotten the size that i need the next step in making this outfit is to separate because i want to do a short if you want to do a trouser it's the same style you use but if you want to do a skirt or a long gown a gown you just continue knitting until you get the size that you want so we are going to start working on one side of the trouser now we want to separate right now um okay to separate this the the leg you have to make sure you're separating equally so that one side will not be bigger than the other side and so you make chains preferably 10 chains but yeah i did eight because my i feel like doing it there's no rules the only rule is that don't just join it directly just make sure you do chains five eight six ten anyone that suits you depending on the person's lap anyways but mine is from five ten six eight and then you join it with a double crochet that's a single crochet okay good a double crochet to the other side and start working on the leg it is that easy you see that i did a double crochet and now i'm working on the other side on one side of the leg you just have to go around and when you get to the chain area you knit on the chain you see it's it has already formed a short so when you get to the chain area like i said you just walk on the chain you need double 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 crochet on the chain like you just need directly on the chain not two when i say double crochet actually guys it's not two crochet in one place it the stitch i'm using is double crochet there are different type of crochet stitch you have double you have single you have semi double you have triple you have I don't know the other ones but there you have different kind of crochet so we've had three layers of double crochet that's three rows and that is okay for me so i'm going to end the shot here and start with the other side of the leg i have to start with the other side of the leg now So we're going to start from here that I'm pointing, walk around before getting to that place that that chain is. You can also decide to start from the chain and walk down. But for a neat work and as a professional and so on that I have been doing, something that I've been doing before, I prefer to start from this place that I'm starting. So if you're following my YouTube video up to this level or up to this, up to now, I'm sure you would like to follow my instructions too. So start from that place that I pointed. Oh, thank you very much. And go round till you get to the chain and work on it. I thought I recorded when I walked on the chain on the sec from the second leg. What kind of English am I speaking? 
but unfortunately i did not record it hopefully you get it or you understand how to work on the chain thank you very much i'm done with this shirt and it hopefully it will be nice i would wear it and see how it looks just stay tuned because you're gonna see it um that is that for that one thing about this tutorial is given details of the important parts because i'm not going to be showing you how to do double crochet or how to make rope or how to connect it's just the pattern how where to turn where not to turn where to start a new one where to cut that is just how this tutorial is i don't know if it's even a tutorial it's just like a work with me video and i really appreciate the fact that you managed to stay with me with my long boring video till now hopefully this video is helpful to you this is how it looks on me cute right oh i can actually wear this out to a beach to a party to an evening outing so many things so many places so uh that's me explaining where i can take the, this outfit to. anyways thank you very much bye